today we're going to show you a demo of how you can take images of designs and create a front end completely with AI just within a few minutes without really doing anything. It's, it's magnificent and you're going to love it. Um, I'm going to take a design from Dribble, uh, just a random design. Uh, and again, this is just for the demo purposes. We're not actually going to launch anything using this. If you end up using designs from Dribble, please make sure that you give due credits uh, to the designers. All right, so the first one which we looked at was um, essentially a uh, chat AI type interface, something like a chat GPD. Uh, and then I saved that as an image on my desktop. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach it uh, as an image uh, in the IDE. Um, and I save the file name as uh, something random so that you know it doesn't take the file name uh, and uh, make guesses based on that. Uh, I actually have two files saved. I'm gonna show you the other one later. But this one, SAS app two, uh, we're just gonna upload it and we're gonna ask it to create a front end which looks similar to the image which is attached. Uh, and we're not gonna give any other instructions um, whatsoever. And uh, here you go. So the image is attached. Um, and while it generates the front end, I'm gonna just show you some other stuff and talk through it. Um, so if you notice the image is a PNG image, it's a very low resolution file. Um, and you don't necessarily need a super high res file for this. I think whatever, you know, is uh, a good enough size um, for you to see uh, a design, I think that's good enough for the AI as well. And it's creating a front end in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. You could also ask it to create that in React. Uh, there's benefits of doing it as just HTML and JS, uh, you could take it and you could easily put it into uh, maybe something like a Webflow or deploy yourself. Oh look, there you have. So we have uh, a UI which is created completely by AI just based on the image attached. And it looks fairly close. I would say it is um, maybe 80% close, 90% uh, close to what um, what we attached. Um, and let's see if it's functional. I mean, obviously, like you're not gonna get a response when you answer, ask a question, but if you click on this recommended tiles, those work, which is great. We didn't even specify this. So it did all of it by itself. Okay, refresh prompts, that doesn't work because we didn't specify any instructions, but you could start with this and then you could give uh, further instructions um, to either make it better, change the design styles, uh, or maybe uh, just add new features, uh, such as an actual login, or you could connect it to a backend or an API. Um, so you could do lots of different things, or you could just take this front end and maybe use it somewhere else. Uh, where you want to use it. Or you, know, you could ask it to create a React version of this. Um, so that's pretty cool. And you know, in terms of code, like it did a lot of things. Now let's take a different example. So um, this is just another random image of a SaaS uh, product, which I took. And it looks a little bit like an Airtable. Uh, we don't exactly know what it is because we just randomly took it. Uh, but we're gonna take this as is, and we're gonna give it uh, to the AI. Um, and if you notice, I created a new thread um, so that it doesn't mix these projects into a single thread, and it's always better to start a new thread for, for any new project. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna attach images, and I'm gonna attach this one, which is a SAS app one, 
and uh, we're going to give the same instructions to create a front end based on the attached image file. This file is a little bit larger. There's also a little bit more detail uh, in this one. Um, and it's it's hard to tell like what exactly this interface is. So let's see what it guesses. Okay, so it guesses that it's an employee management dashboard, which is fair because um, it has some job positions and some other stuff. Uh, but no worries, we can always ask it to update that. Um, and typically it takes a minute or two uh, to do this. Uh, I'm gonna speak through some of the other features while you do that. So what you see open here is the source selector. So the way the source selector works is if you have connected your GitHub or if you have uploaded code files or document files such as PDF, um, you could select it as a source and whenever it's uh, providing a response, it's gonna use that as context. And you know, the other option is you know, right below the images. Uh, if you wanna, uh, if you wanna upload your files, uh, and it works very differently from how the image attach works. The image attach directly works as an attachment in the thread versus uh, the document files and uh, the code files are gonna update uh, the context in the AI. Okay, cool. All right, so we have something. Uh, it has created something. So let's see what we have. So it it looks pretty close to what we gave it in the image. And again, this is an actual front end which it created. It is not an image. So it looks fairly similar. Uh, you could see that some of the filtering options are on the right side instead of the left side. It still says NFS and uh, pretty close to the names and even the content which we gave in the in the image. Uh, but it's, it's not really an employee management dashboard. It's more like supposed to be more like an Airtable. Um, so let's ask it to, uh, you know, essentially add some more features and I'm gonna ask it to add some templates um, and instruct it like it's something like an Airtable. Uh, so I'm gonna ask it to create templates so that once you select a template, it will just show you a view or a layout uh, for that use case. As an example, roadmap, or it could be project management or a CRM. Um, and hopefully it will just add these uh, options or features to the existing UI, which has been already created. Um, but yeah, let's see what it does. All right, make them visually appealing. All right, and let's also instruct like, you know, what the interaction looks like. Uh, I'm pretty sure it will do it automatically, but wherever possible, it's ideal to specify the interactions of what should happen when a specific component is clicked. Okay, so we're gonna specify roadmap, project management, CRM, and marketing lead, lead gen use cases. Uh, Let's hit enter. Uh, I would expect it to take a couple of minutes. Um, so it's the expected outcome is that, you know, again, as we specified, and it should update all the files um, so that it reflects in the CSS, it reflects in the JavaScript, it reflects in the, in the HTML file. And um, yeah, again, you could ask it to convert it to a React code if you'd like to, or a Next.js code. Uh, I find it useful to just create HTML first. Um, and then you'll see like some stuff in the terminal, uh, just some cool stuff like you can move around a terminal if you're using it. Uh, you can actually run like JavaScript commands directly in it and some basic Python, not very advanced Python supported right now. Uh, but you could like start a server, kill server, like install stuff. Okay, cool. So. What do we have so far? Uh, nothing yet. I think it's still still working on it, um, and it's it's updating the CSS, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and I'm just like playing around with some some other options we have 
uh, in the application. Um, but yeah, I think you know, it's 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 a good way to to start building up your project, um, especially you know instead of spending days or weeks, you could you know get started with this and work towards your goal of what you exactly want to accomplish. It is super helpful if you want to test out ideas or build prototypes. Um, so you can very, very quickly do. Uh, you could also sketch out an image of a mockup. Um, and uh, you could also use that as an image attachment. So it can create designs based on your mockups and, and sketches. Uh, cool. Okay. So it, it is running it. Okay. It's cool. The layout looks a little bit, um, it's taking up too much space, but let's look at it in uh, a full expanded view. Um, so let's expand it. Okay. So this is how it's going to look like, uh, when it's published as an application. And then you can see that when I select roadmap, it's showing stuff specific to that use case, uh, or template project management, CRM, uh, marketing leads. Um, Joe, it did keep the existing uh, layout functionality as is and it added uh, new features in it. So again, pretty cool. Um, you can see all the applications which have been created so far. Um, oops, uh, I'm just going to hit refresh um, just to see uh, the previous project which we created. Uh, but in the drop down, you can just look at all the projects you have created. You can look at all the threads, um, and it will automatically load um, the projects which you have created in the past. So this was the the chat AI interface which we created first, uh, and uh, again, you can always switch your projects and you can start working on it. Uh, but cool. Hopefully, you got a good good view of like what you could do with the, with the IDE. Um, it's still under a wait list, uh, but yeah, please do sign up, please spread the word and, uh, we will share the access with you soon. Thank you so much. And this is again, one of the Instagram clones, which we had built. This was not built using a, an image attachment, but it was just a, uh, a prompt, uh, but cool. Thank you so much for, for watching and uh, we look forward to seeing you in the waitlist. Uh, thank you.